Formula One returns to Monte Carlo once again today, home to the world-famous Monte Carlo Casino that first opened in 1863. And of course, a certain road race first held in 1929. And there's no greater an occasion, no more valuable a win than the Monaco Grand Prix. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race ending barriers. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and Bottas, Norris, Surferboy, Magnussen, and Charles Leclerc. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Mick Schumacher, and Ricardo, Vettel, Sonoda, Pierre Gasly, and Alex Albon, Joe, and Nicholas Latifi. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat is Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching out for as they head into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. lap gets underway then and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions could affect the lifespan of the tyres. We're almost ready to start the race as the cars take their positions on the grid with the drivers and teams making their final preparations.
one stop to go, just one stop left in this strategy. Your pit window opens in five laps time, five laps. Take and burn off some of this energy. Okay, DRS will be enabled for this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Okay, we want you to pit this lap, so push now, push. Seven seconds. Okay, they're out of this race. Final 
lap of the race. to win and they've only gone and done it. What a fantastic result here at Monaco. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Let's review the driver's standings. Well, that lead at the top has somewhat shrunk today. Now, let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. Let's move on to the constructors. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Well, that was certainly an exciting weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula One action very soon. <laughs>